G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. With lots of rain and lots of heat, weed management continues to be an issue in Queensland. One problem species we have in southeast Queensland is the giant rat's tail, or GRT. GRT has originally come from Africa and arrived in Australia in the 1960s. Each plant can produce around 85,000 seeds per square metre and 90% are viable and the seeds can last in the ground for about 10 years. They are known as giant rat's tail grass because when the seed is fully populated, it resembles the tail of a rat. 18 months ago when we bought this property, there were large areas of rat's tail grass, but active and consistent management has certainly made a big difference. The rat's tail grass is happily growing in barren land like we see here today, or in thick pasture. The process to get rid of giant rat's tail grass is to cut the seeds from the plant, place those carefully in a bag for disposal and spray the remaining plant with a herbicide. It's certainly labour intensive, but the results are worth the effort. Against the backdrop of a white piece of paper, it's very obvious to see that all those seeds that could germinate and become a problem in the future if not dealt with now. So here's an example where giant rat's tail grass has come from what you might describe as a fairly healthy paddock, but given it hasn't been addressed, you can see that there are many, many areas that have just broken out. These are helped spread by native animals and cattle, vehicles and the wind. This area just 30 metres from the infestation that I showed earlier is an example of what it looks like once it has been treated. The seeds have been removed and the plants have been treated with poison and over time they will die. Oh. 